a land shrouded in mystery, a civilization that baffles the minds of scholars to this day, welcome to ancient Egypt. Imagine a realm where monumental pyramids kiss the azure sky, and the world's longest river, the Nile, snakes its way across the landscape. This is ancient Egypt, a civilization that existed for over 3,000 years, from 3100 BC to 30 BC. This was a civilization of grandeur and enigma, a place where gods walked among men, where hieroglyphics etched on temple walls whispered tales of glory and despair. At the heart of this civilization were the pharaohs, the powerful rulers who were both mortal and divine. Pharaohs were the linchpin of Egyptian society, holding the threads of the temporal and the spiritual world. They were the intermediaries between the gods and the people, the ones who ensured ma'at, the ancient Egyptian concept of truth, balance, order, and justice. But power seldom comes without a price. The pharaohs, despite their divine status, were not immune to the intoxicating allure of authority. They were human after all, susceptible to the same passions and vulnerabilities. Their rule was marked by a constant struggle to maintain and consolidate power, often leading to intricate tales of revenge and deceit. The influence of these pharaohs transcended their mortal existence. Their legacies are etched in stone, preserved in the grandeur of the pyramids, the Sphinx, the Valley of the Kings. These architectural marvels stand as silent witnesses to the pharaohs' prowess, their ambitions, their triumphs, and their failures. Yet, despite thousands of years and countless advancements in technology, ancient Egypt continues to be an enigma. It's a puzzle that archaeologists, historians, and scholars strive to piece together, a mystery that pulls us back time and again. The more we uncover, the more we realize how much there is left to discover. And as with any great civilization, the tales of revenge and power struggles are as timeless as the pyramids themselves. In the heart of this ancient land, power was the ultimate prize. The pharaohs of Egypt, rulers who were seen as gods on earth, held an insatiable thirst for power. Their reign, often spanning decades, was marked by an unyielding pursuit of dominance, not just over their kingdom, but over life and death itself. From the majestic Nile to the towering pyramids, everything in Egypt was a testament to the pharaoh's authority. Their power was not merely symbolic but absolute, and the pharaohs ruled with an iron scepter, their word was law, and their will was divine. Yet, in the grand courts of these divine rulers, the quest for power was not without its perils. The pharaohs, their royal families, and the high priests were often entangled in a complex web of alliances and rivalries. The royal court was a battleground, a stage for power plays and political maneuvers. In this intricate dance of power, the pharaohs, their families, and their courtiers were not above using any means necessary to secure their reign. They would employ guile, deceit, and even murder. And in this context, revenge emerged as a potent force. Revenge in ancient Egypt was not merely an act of retribution. It was a tool, a weapon wielded with precision. It was used to settle scores, to intimidate rivals, and to keep potential usurpers in check. The pharaohs, in their quest for power, would often resort to revenge to protect their throne. Tales of pharaohs avenging slights against their honor, exacting retribution for treason, or punishing disloyalty are etched in the annals of Egypt's history. These stories show us that the pharaoh's thirst for power was not just about maintaining their rule, but about asserting their divine authority. Revenge was a language the pharaohs spoke fluently. It was a game they played with deadly seriousness. It was part of their strategy, a crucial piece in the puzzle of their power dynamics. In the pursuit of power, revenge became a tool, a weapon wielded by those who dared. As we delve deeper into the pharaoh's tales of revenge, we see a side of these divine rulers that is as human as it is divine, as ruthless as it is captivating. As the sun sets over the Nile, tales of revenge echo through the corridors of time. In the vast ancient land of Egypt, the pharaohs, the supreme rulers, were known for their thirst for power. But this hunger often led to intense rivalries, betrayals, and ultimately, revenge. One of the most famous tales of revenge involves Pharaoh Ramses III and a plot known as the Harem Conspiracy. The Pharaoh's secondary wife, Queen Tai, hatched a plan to assassinate the king and place her son on the throne. However, the plot was discovered and the conspirators were brutally punished, their names forever tarnished. Then, there's the tale of Pharaoh Akhenaten, who sought revenge not on individuals but on an entire religious system. Dissatisfied with the traditional polytheistic religion, Akhenaten enforced a monotheistic worship of the sun god Aten, 
eradicating the priests of Amun, the once supreme deity. His successors, however, reversed his changes after his death, erasing his name from history as an act of posthumous revenge. And let's not forget about the lesser-known tale of Pharaoh Pepi II. Legend has it that after receiving a slight from a lesser king, Pepi II sent an army to destroy the entire kingdom. A classic example of revenge served cold, reminding us that even the smallest of slights could lead to devastating consequences in ancient Egypt. But perhaps the most chilling tale of revenge is that of Pharaoh Hatshepsut. After her death, her stepson Thutmose III, possibly resentful of her successful reign, tried to erase all trace of her from history. He ordered her images and cartouches chiseled off monuments and walls, a brutal form of revenge that sought to condemn her to oblivion. These stories, etched in stone and sand, remind us of the ruthless pursuit of power and the high price of revenge. They paint a vivid picture of a time when power struggles were a matter of life and death, where revenge was not just personal but political, and the consequences could change the course of history. These stories, etched in stone and sand, remind us of the ruthless pursuit of power and the high price of revenge. But in the realm of the pharaohs, revenge was not limited to the living. In the heart of ancient Egypt, even death wasn't an escape from retribution. The notion of the curse of the pharaohs is an enduring one, a chilling testament to the power and the wrath of these ancient rulers. But what is the origin of this curse? And how has it impacted those who dared to disturb the eternal rest of these mighty sovereigns? The concept of the curse of the pharaohs is steeped in ancient Egyptian beliefs about the afterlife. Pharaohs were considered god kings, their tombs sacred sanctuaries. Disturbing these sanctuaries was seen as a direct affront to the gods. The curse was their divine response, a supernatural punishment for those who dared to trespass. The tales of these curses are full of eerie coincidences and tragic ends. Stories abound of archaeologists succumbing to mysterious illnesses or accidents after unearthing a pharaoh's tomb. The most famous of these is the tale of Howard Carter and the tomb of Tutankhamun. In the aftermath of the tomb's discovery, several people connected to the excavation died under mysterious circumstances, leading many to believe in the power of the pharaoh's curse. Yet it's not just the stories that give credence to the curse. Ancient Egyptians were known for their elaborate burial rituals, which often included inscriptions of curses to ward off potential grave robbers. These inscriptions, found within the tombs, serve as a stark reminder of the seriousness with which the ancient Egyptians viewed the sanctity of their burial sites. Despite the lack of scientific evidence to support the curse, the idea continues to captivate us. The curse of the pharaohs serves as a chilling testament to the lengths revenge can reach, even beyond the grave. It's a stark reminder of the respect these ancient rulers commanded, both in life and in death, a respect that continues to echo through the ages. The Curse of the Pharaohs, a chilling testament to the lengths revenge can reach, even beyond the grave. Revenge carries a heavy price, a lesson learned too late by many in ancient Egypt. So let's delve into the repercussions these acts of vengeance had on the individuals involved and how they shaped the course of Egyptian history. Revenge in ancient Egypt was not solely a personal pursuit. It was often a state-sanctioned act, a tool wielded by the powerful to maintain control, to suppress dissent, and to uphold the divine order. The consequences were far-reaching, affecting not just the individuals directly involved, but also the societal fabric and the overall trajectory of the kingdom. Pharaohs and nobility, in their quest for retribution, would often resort to extreme measures. They would impose severe punishments, leading to public executions, banishments, and even mass slaughters. These actions, while serving their immediate purpose of quelling opposition, would also sow the seeds of fear and resentment among the populace. The price of revenge in this case was a society living in constant fear and distrust. Moreover, these acts of vengeance had a profound impact on the individuals at the heart of these conflicts. The thirst for revenge often consumed the pharaohs and nobility, pushing them into a spiral of paranoia and obsession. They lived their lives in constant fear of retribution, their minds plagued with guilt, and their hearts filled with bitterness. In the grander scale of history, these tales of revenge had a significant impact on the course of Egyptian civilization. They resulted in power shifts, led to the downfall of dynasties, and even triggered wars. The price of revenge in this context was the instability and turmoil that gripped the kingdom. But perhaps the most poignant price of revenge was the curse it seemingly placed on the perpetrators. 
the tales of Pharaoh's tombs inflicting misfortune and death on those who dared disturb them are a testament to this. These supposed curses, whether real or not, have fascinated and terrified people for centuries, embodying the enduring price of revenge. In the grand scheme of history, these tales of revenge serve as reminders of the devastating cost of vengeance. They echo the timeless truth that the pursuit of revenge seldom brings peace. Instead, it often leads to a cycle of violence that only ends in devastation. The sands of time have covered the cities, but the legacy of revenge remains. Revenge, a potent force that has shaped human history and culture in remarkable ways, was a prominent theme in the lives of ancient Egypt's pharaohs. These tales of vengeance, steeped in mystery and intrigue, continue to shape our understanding and perception of this fascinating civilization. In the grand timeline of history, ancient Egypt stands out as a civilization that was deeply invested in the concept of justice and retribution, principles that often manifested as acts of revenge. The pharaohs, as both religious and political leaders, held the power to enforce this justice, and it's their stories that echo through the centuries. The tale of Pharaoh Ramses III, for instance, who was assassinated in a harem conspiracy led by one of his own wives, is a chilling reminder of the deadly power struggles that plagued the royal court. Similarly, the story of Hatshepsut, a female pharaoh often overlooked by historians whose monuments were defaced by her stepson, Thutmose III, speaks volumes about the lengths to which some would go to secure their legacy. These tales of vengeance and retribution have not only shaped the narrative of ancient Egypt, but also influenced our modern lens of viewing history. The concept of the curse of the pharaohs, often associated with the opening of Tutankhamun's tomb, is a testament to the enduring power of these revenge stories. Even now, over 3,000 years later, these stories captivate us, stirring our imagination and fueling our fascination with this ancient civilization. Indeed, the legacy of revenge has permeated our cultural consciousness, influencing literature, films, and even our understanding of morality and justice. It reminds us that, despite the passage of millennia, some human emotions remain universal, transcending time and culture. The legacy of ancient Egypt's revenge continues to captivate us, a testament to the timeless allure of this ancient civilization. As we journey back from the sands of ancient Egypt, the echoes of revenge still resonate. We've traversed through the lives of powerful pharaohs, their relentless quest for power, and the chilling tales of revenge. We've explored the chilling curse of the pharaohs, the heavy price paid for revenge, and the enduring legacy these stories have left behind. These tales, etched in stone and whispered through the corridors of time, remind us of the intricate web of intrigue that once dominated the palace halls. They paint a vivid picture of ancient Egypt, a civilization steeped in mystery and bound by the potent force of revenge. The lasting impact of these tales is undeniable. They've transcended centuries, intriguing and cautioning us about the destructive path of vengeance. They underscore the timeless human thirst for power and the inevitable consequences of such desires. In the end, the tales of revenge from ancient Egypt serve as timeless reminders of the human thirst for power and the inevitable consequences of vengeance.